2025 is shaping up to, to be an explosive year. 2024 came in kind of heavy. But as we can see now, it's going out very, very, very heavy. We only have three more months. Right now, we got a lot of stuff on our hands. We got a lot of stuff going on. Of course, we have P. Diddy. That's enough by itself. That's enough right now. We have P. Diddy. And everybody in the entertainment business, period. A lot of gospel artists, a lot of Christian people connected to P. Diddy. A lot of church folks connected to P. Diddy. And P. Diddy is connected to Hollywood. We know he, mute, he in the mute, so everybody in the entertainment industry no matter what you win acting singing whatever it's a lot of people that are potentially in trouble with the law and with God I can't hardly wait yes y'all gonna say what y'all want I'm waiting in hoping that the big man in Dallas, Texas, woman that they are loose, praise the Lord, people. Oh, <coughs> I'm praying that he go down. I ain't gonna tell you no lie about it. But he's wrong to pray for the downfall. Well, that man been going sideways for years. I don't pray. He go to hell. I don't pray he die. I just pray he get what he deserved. Of all people, anybody that's supposed to be a Christian, man that's tied to P. Diddy, woman, whoever you are, I hope, I sincerely hope they get in trouble with the law. <laughs> I hope God exposed them. I, I don't hope they go to hell. I don't pray hell on nobody. I don't pray death on people. I just hope they get exposed. I hope they end up going to prison. P. did everybody is tied to P. did it. If you rich, you're elite, you got so many millions. You, you know, celebrities. P did a reach into generations, families. That's why you broke you broke people like me. We have we have this right here is enough to be grateful, be thankful that you broke you poor. Because being poor means you are eliminated in so many ways from being caught up in such stuff like this. Now, broke people can still go out there and get in trouble. But you see how the rich folks do it? You see this type of trouble they get into? You see the type of satanic, satanic things they, they get involved with? See how they, going, how, how they are shaking now? You see the stuff? The elites, see how they sin? You see the type of stuff they are involved in? A broke man can't do all that. You broke, you can't get in this party. You got to have so many. P. Did have been known to go around the world and go around the country holding them parties. Celebrity parties. I think he came to Memphis. Years ago, when uh, uh, Tyson fought Lennox Lewis the first time around, 
All the celebrities came to Memphis. They had parties all over Memphis. I think P. Diddy had hosted a party. I'm not sure, but I think he did. Then we have the thing with the judge and the sheriff up there in Kentucky. I just saw some fresh news about it. They showed the video of the judge being in his uh, chambers. People been spreading rumors ever since it dropped about the judge was messing with the man, daughter, and the wife. The sheriff was allowing his deputies to abuse women. People just been spreading rumors. I mean, just spreading rumors everywhere. I did a I did a video recently talking about rumors. This is a prime example. People spreading rumors. People making building a platform off of this. Spreading rumors. And people say, well, if he if he messing with the man's daughter, I, the, the, the sheriff is innocent. innocent. Ain't no jury gonna convict him. People taking them rumors. Ain't nothing been actual factual. Factual. People taking them rumors and running with it. And according According to a lot of people, yeah, the judge is guilty. He should be dead. Because of rumors. People taking those rumors and running with them like they factual. We don't know. We don't know. Nobody knows. On the other hand, a lot of people came out and spoke against them rumors said it's not true. Then I'm hearing rumors that the, that the sheriff was abusive toward his wife and daughter. And the wife and daughter was seeking help through the sheriff. See what I'm saying? So we had rumors on both sides, two or three different ways. All we know is the sheriff went in the man chambers and shot him. Killed him. That's all we know right now. But whatever, he's the sheriff. He's not judge, jury, and God. He's not judge, jury, and God. It's his job to apprehend the murderer, the bad guys, and lock them up and let them have their day in court. That's his job. He not he not the judge, the jury, and the executioner, or God. I just seen something fresh that said the, the they have seen enough. They got enough stuff to take it up to the grand jury. So they let you know right there that the judge is in trouble. They say they taking it to a grand jury. He about to be indicted on murder charge. Whatever happened with them phones, whatever was going on in them phones, we don't know. And even, even if it is true about the judge was messing with the man's daughter, he's still not, the, the, the sheriff is still not judge, jury, God, execution. That's not his job. His job is to take the criminal in safely and let him have his day in court. People taking it. He was messing with the man's daughter. Oh yeah, he guilty. He should have been. How y'all talk about he, they still doing it? I done been on them. Do you have any factual proof? Nothing. A lot of people ask, do y'all have factual proof? Everybody can get their opinion. Everybody, but I think this went on. I think, but some people have well, rumors. They just he's not guilty. The judge ain't guilty. He did the world a favor. He did. Do you know? Are you? Do you have evidence? Have you seen anything that would that tell him? I just saw a new clip say that they are going through the phones now. <laughs> they seen some stuff. 
But then he came out and said, ain't no charges been leveled. Ain't nothing factual yet. It's going to a grand jury. They going up to a jury. Those rumors that are circulating one way or the other, it ain't, it's not official. That was just our rumors. But we live in a society where people take rumors and you're guilty. You can, you can believe rumors or not. But don't let rumors become unfactual evidence, unfactual proof. Many people are on YouTube doing that, spreading rumors. Then we got the flooding over there in North Carolina. In South Carolina. I wonder will they have an effect on the present the uh, elections that's coming up. I heard Donald Trump donated like fifty thousand dollars. I heard the country single Morgan Wallace donated five hundred thousand dollars to the American Red Cross. <laughs> and them people let him know. And them people let him know. The people in the comments said when they saw that, they let him know, you donated that money to who? What? Yeah, I remember. Some years ago, doing Hurricane, one of them Hurricane, where all that money that was donated I think it was to the Red Cross of Salvation Army, one of them uh, non-profit. All that money disappeared. All that one money went missing. And they, in the, in, in the law, the people knew who was responsible for it, stealing that money. But did they go after them? No. Some people got away scot-free. With all that money that was raised for them hurricane victims. After that, people change. I ain't donating none of these. You can't trust this, that, that, whoever was over one of them. Um, it wasn't, I don't think it was good year, Goodwill. It was either uh, Salvation Army or either it was American Red Cross. I think it was the Red Cross. They got away with taking all that money. They act like they lost it. Lost track of it. That money went in somebody's pocket. I heard this story about the Wounded Warrior Project. And the other one. They said that man done got 50 rich. The Wounded, the wounded Warrior Project. That man who founded it got 50 rich. I ain't doing nothing for them uh, veterans. It, it's the other one out there too. I think they're a little better than the Wounded Warrior Project. But them people are pouring them, non-profits and all it. And all they do is rob the people and then rob the government. Get filthy rich. Filthy rich. We got a lot going on, y'all. 2025, 2024 is going out with a bang. And surely 2025 is going to come in with a bang. We got a lot. We losing celebrities every year around this time. Death amplifies itself. Celebrities are going two and three. No longer one by one. They going like in in groups now. They going in groups. They getting out of here. Regular people are getting out of here. At the end of the year, it seems like death. Then the holidays come up. Are coming up. Every time the holidays get close, it seems like stuff gets strange and crazy. It's always some type of disaster right before the holidays come up too. Whether it be hurricanes, tornadoes, or something. Flooding. The people over there in North Carolina having a bad. I seen a video where a casket was floating down the river. And there had to be one a minute. 
I seen some videos over there in North Carolina, I-40. I go I go through there all a lot. I-40 is about to uh collapse. I know I saw one where the eastbound side was falling apart where that river come around and make that hard turn right there on the Tennessee line, pretty much. Tennessee, North Carolina line. People lives. There's people down in Florida from the previous two or three hurricanes still trying to recover. It's bad, y'all. 2025, the world. Man, but pray and ask the Lord for another day. The Lord give you these days to be appreciative of them. We not in control of anything. We living by the grace of God. There's scripture that say we ought to ask the Lord for a day and be thankful for the day that we have. But get ready for 2025. It's gonna be heavy, y'all. I'm not. I'm not trying to predict anything or build. We can see the stuff. We can see it. We can see 2025. I don't need nobody coming me trying to prophesy. You did it in all these pro lying prophets. They ain't catching none of these deaths. That R&B singer just died. Did anybody prophesy that? Did anybody prophesy the flooding? Hurricane uh, uh, Liam? Did anybody prophesy the strike? That's another. The strike is over. It didn't last. I saw a lot of uh, fear mongers like uh, Pastor Dow up there in Tennessee. Stock up now. That man been fear mongering forever. Stock up now. Stock up now. Draw them folks up there to his camp, then take advantage of them people, split them families up. If you go up there to Pastor Dow straightway, you better go alone. Don't take your family. If you have a wife and a daughter, wife and some daughters, they look nice, they look attractive. They're gonna be preyed upon. Y'all gonna be driven apart. That man got some devious, devious ways. Draw them families in, pretend like he gonna help them and try to get them better their life. We can live together, and at the same time, split them apart. Take that man wife. Take that man's daughter. Start grooming the daughter. I don't care what, how good a person that man might be on the outside, but you can see his devilish ways, his devilish ways. 2025, y'all. 